Hey guys, this is going to be my first movie review, and if you've heard the rumors about me starting movie reviews soon, it is true. So, um, yeah. So my first review on this Speak No Evil film, if you call it like that, or just call it Speak No Evil. Yeah, I saw the movie last night, guys, at my local cinema. And, well, Speak No Evil, to give it a ratio on 1 to 10, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And the reason why I give it a 7 out of 10 is because... The movie took a little bit too long to get to the climax towards the end, and they don't explain about where the bodies went. Yes, this is a spoiler review, as you can see in the title of my YouTube video that I posted for this movie review. Um, yeah, the father and the mother was pretty creepy, to say the least. Not the good ones, but the bad ones, you know? And turns out, later in the movie, the son actually reveals that his tongue was cut off by the father. And, like, it, it was freaking me out a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. The, some of the parts was really scary and really creepy. I know that's, like, how much every horror movie goes by, but this one really got to me, guys. I don't know. It's just some parts felt, like, gruesome if you really think about it. Also, some of the parts in the movie, too, felt kind of like... Yeah, man, I don't know if I want to be in that particular environment. I don't know if I should trust strangers no more. It's the movie that makes you feel like that. You don't want to be around strangers and stuff like that it's literally the way it is and not only that but because i see movies every friday i'm gonna review them and maybe next week i might review transformers one or alien romulus to see how that goes i know i'm late and due to alien romulus but honestly y'all know i'm about to start these movie reviews like i said so i'm about to review almost every single movie not like the older ones but the newer ones that start coming out I'm about to do my uh, movie review on Deadpool Wolverine, possibly, possibly not, because that's already past due as well. So, I'll let you guys know about that too. But, um, to give this movie, and sorry about the background noise, people are working upstairs. Um, yeah, I don't know. I felt like that mostly everything about Speak No Evil was creepy. Like, if you think about it too, like... The kid that lost his voice and stuff like that because the mother and father, dude, I was disturbed. Like, I was like, what is going on? Like, I was like, where are they trying to hide? And then it's just revealed that all the other family members in the movie disappeared. I was like, whoa, that, that's pretty scary. I was like, there's no way that's, you know, should happen when I'm in a particular environment in that situation. And like I said, it almost makes you feel like, hey, I don't want to be around strangers. You know, because if you be around a stranger, you never know what's going to happen. So this movie tells you about what's going to happen in the later future if you end up going with a bunch of strangers that you don't know about. So never trust any strangers, guys. But anyways, I'll catch you guys next time, and peace.